that it's my opinion, uh, and there's context for the question here, that the um, the date certain in the drawdown, as articulated by the administration, in my judgment, has had a detrimental effect on our overall mission here and put uh, some of their commanders on the ground in, in, in a difficult position. But I wanted to follow up with Representative Wilson's question regarding malignant uh, Iranian influence in Afghanistan. Uh, you responded that that there's potential for common ground between us and Iran to, to cooperate for the long-term benefit of Afghanistan. And you stated that we're, that you are seeking uh, to check the negative assistance between Iran and Afghanistan. Um, and I guess my, my first thought is, do you think this is possible, or is this common ground between uh, us and Iran is possible given the the leadership in the current re Iranian regime, and, and how does the long history between Iran and Afghanistan uh, provide any sort of a basis for leveraging uh, events in favor of our national security? And are, are we, you know for certain that we're effectively checking a negative assistance by Iran to the insurgency? And the overall then question is, is it wise, in your opinion, to, to proceed with the current drawdown given the Iranian government support to this insurgency in Afghanistan. A lot of questions there. Sorry, throw them all at once. Uh, we're seeking to understand exactly what Iran is doing in Afghanistan, but we also understand that Iran and Afghanistan have their own bilateral relationship, and that's a, an ancient and a, and a, in many respects, productive relationship for Afghanistan. So I I, I will not take issue with the fact that. The Afghan government has a relationship with Iran. Uh, my issue is primarily in, in uh, the area of uh, security. Uh, and what we uh, understand to be uh, Iranian assistance to certain elements of the Taliban. It has not been dramatic. Uh, it has not been uh, pervasive. Uh, but we seek to understand it. And we have interdicted uh, that assistance uh, on a number of occasions. And so we'll continue to watch it very closely. Uh, we'll see uh, if it is modulated, if it is increased, or if it becomes more pervasive, then we'll have to take uh, actions as necessary within Afghanistan to continue to check that process. Dr. Miller, did you want to weigh in on that? If I could just add very briefly, uh, as you know, sir, the Iranian government has also provided not only rhetorical but material support to the Afghan government. And so what we see is a uh, 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 is uh, in many instances a positive influence, but then just as General Allen has talked about, at the same time and in another part of the country, uh, we've seen uh, Iranian support for the insurgency. So what we'd obviously like to do is to encourage continued support for the, for the government in Kabul and to, through various means, uh, including, including the interdiction that General Allen talked about, uh, reduce to a minimum, attempt to eliminate any uh, any incentives for uh, uh, for support to the insurgency? I guess it just occurs to me, given you know Iran's history of making IEDs uh, to blow up our troops in Iraq, shouldn't uh, engender a great deal of trust on our part um, to the you know the potential of using the long-standing relationship between Afghanistan and Iran to our benefit. I'm not I'm not sure that. There's a, a real basis for that, but I mean, I, I defer in this in the case to the people on the ground. I'm just suggesting that um, there seems to be a general pattern here, and uh, I'm just wondering what the drawdown and the date certain has has done to the overall, um, at least the psychological array uh, of our enemy's uh, attitude toward uh, continuing to, to resist uh, uh, the efforts of freedom there in, in Afghanistan. And I'll. The general, if you have any thoughts, any other well, thoughts? I was just going to say that we have not seen the, the Iranian signature weapons uh, in Afghanistan that they, we saw frequently in southern Iraq, uh, and that would be a very quick indicator to us yeah. uh, that things have changed dramatically. All right. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, thank you. We've got two committees going on at the same time, so I have to sprint to the other one, so thank you very much.